guys, I got my ultimate Pampered Chef kit today, my consultant kit, and I am so excited. JD's gotta eat, so we're gonna attempt to make our first meal in the quick cooker, which is his spaghetti. I've already put in a tablespoon of olive oil and the turkey meat, and I have it on sear so I can cook the turkey meat. And now we're going to chop up our onions in the manual food processor, which is what I love because I don't like chopping onions. All right, let's see. Right. Oh, yes, look. Perfect. I'm going to put those in. And I'm going to grab my mix and scrape. Also brand new from my kit today. Fabulous. My mix and scrape. I'm not a very neat cook either, as y'all can see. All right. This, I think, is one of the neatest Pamper Chef tools for your kitchen. It is a mix and chop. It will mix your meat that you're cooking and your onions, and it will make it all into a fine, fine, fine grind when all is done and cooked. All right, I'm gonna let that cook just a minute. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get my seasonings. And these, I love. This is the adjustable measuring spoons. This little one goes from a quarter teaspoon, an, actually an eighth of a teaspoon to one teaspoon. And you just slide it to whatever you need it to be. I'm gonna use a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. It'll fit right down in the jar. Right there. I'm gonna use a teaspoon of onion powder and a teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm not a very precise cooker either, for the most part. All right. All right. And this quick cooker gets super hot. I'm very happy that it is sizzling my turkey meat here. Look at the mix and chop. I love that. It's stainless steel, so the pot's stainless steel, so it'll go in the dishwasher. All right, we're almost done. And I'll be able to add my other ingredients. And look, if you don't think that it will brown your meat, check that out. It's super brown. All right, I think that we are able to now turn this off. I'm gonna hit cancel. Okay. And I'll add my other ingredients. Super easy spaghetti recipe. All right, I have a pound of spaghetti. And I'm just going to take it a little bit at a time and I'm going to break it in half and just lay it in the pot like that. Kind of crisscross it. One jar of your favorite spaghetti sauce on top of the noodles. One jar of diced tomatoes. And I'm gonna sprinkle my seasoning around. And I'm gonna just mix up the tomatoes. Can't hardly go wrong with this. Put some water so the noodles cook. Probably about two cups as long as the noodles are covered. First time I'm getting the lid on, guys, by myself. So let's see. Ooh, you hear that little music? That means I got it. All right. 
So what I like about this is that the steam release is away from you from where you push the, the button here. All right, so we're going to go to custom settings because I want to cook it for about eight minutes. So I'm going to hit custom. I'm going to hit time because 30 minutes is way too long to cook spaghetti. I'm going to go down to about, I'm going to say eight minutes. And um, we're gonna go make sure we're on high pressure, which we are. And we're gonna hit start. And then when it comes to pressure and I release all the steam, I'll be back. We'll see what the results are. Finished and it's been resting for about three or four minutes. I hit the steam release, which is letting the steam out the back. Quick tip for you guys when you first get your quick cooker and you're using it, there is a cloud on this button here, the steam release button, and there is a cloud on this here where it's building your steam. They have to match in order for you to build pressure. I just learned that the hard way. And now my pin has dropped, so that means I can safely take the lid off. And we're gonna cross our fingers that dinner is a success. Here we go. All right. Woo hot guys. All right, I'm going to stir it up. I think we're good to go. All right, I did not burn it. That is a positive sign, guys, and it is cooked and mixed. And Jade is going to have spaghetti in just a minute. All right, so I am giving the quick cooker a thumbs up. Thanks, guys.